All right, we are live. We are live. I'm just waiting for everybody to get on. Usually I take the first three minutes and uh, we can get to it. As soon as I see Sins of Many um, come on, we're gonna go ahead and get it popping. All right, all right. What's up? Everybody, I want y'all to tell me where y'all tuning in from. If y'all hear me until we get everybody in here. Good evening. What's up? What's up? Let me see. It's eight o'clock. Um, I'm probably gonna say this a few times. Um, at the end, I'm gonna have questions. So maybe like the last 20, 15 minutes, um, you can just put your questions in the question box where you see the little card with the question mark. Put it in there. And we'll we'll go through them later. All right. Let me see. We got Atlanta in the house. Okay, New Jersey in the house. What's up? What's up? Oh, here he is. Boom. We'll be live in a couple of seconds. Hope I did it right. There you go. Yo. What's up? Let me turn my volume up, man. Let me hold on. Let me. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to get my lighting situation fixed too. Hold on. Yeah, this do your thing, man. Take your time. This we, ain't the first out. couple of minutes, man, we get situated. Oh, this ain't turning out like I thought it was going to. Here we go. I'm trying to get my charger. I don't want to go to bed. You know, I, I, had a, I had a whole setup ready to go, and then I realized I couldn't do IG Live from my MacBook. I was like, listen. Oh. It's all good. We're we, we going to take the tour anyway. Oh, okay. That's all, that's all we, I got to hear. We're we, we going to make it pop. We're going to make it happen, man. We no, got about we another we minute. And of course, of course. We got another minute, and uh, we're going to go. We're going to get into it. Uh, I'll probably say this a few times. Uh, when I start, well, I'm talking to everybody mm -hmm. listening. <laughs> everybody listening. Uh, I'll probably say questions to like the last 20, 15, 20 minutes. And uh, so if you have a question at any moment, you can put in that little box with the question mark at the bottom. And I'm um, shooting it to it and we'll get it at the end. All right? Uh, Sins of menu. What's the business, man? How you hey, feeling, man, bro? You know, we had to we had to rep it. We had to we had to make sure. We okay. good. We ready. We live in five. Man, this episode nine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Dope Men So. I'm your host, Norris Dancer Ford. And um, this is episode eight. So if nine. episode nine, mm -hmm. oh, look at that. This is episode nine. So if this is your first one, you got eight of them to run through. OK. <laughs> um, also, before I forget, I want to go ahead and tell you all we have a private Facebook group. Um, at the end of this, you can go to it. It's called Dope Men So on Facebook. And um, it's pretty much a platform where we share information, resources, and also inspiration. So um, I got all that out of the way. So uh, our guest uh, for this evening is um, Scorpio. Um, What's up, y'all? Uzu. 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 Yes. Uzu? Okay. Thoroughbred I Nigerian. I want to mess by the name of so hey, Uzu. Thoroughbred Nigerian. Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. That's, yes, that's dope, man. Yes, sir. Uh, how you doing, bro? I'm good. I'm Gucci, man. We in here, Houston, Texas, just trying to, you know, we trying to put it out there, trying to Houston, represent Texas. for the men. Yes, sir. The South. Okay. Home of um, you um, are those um Happy Meals? Um, uh, this guy, the Travis, Scott, the the Travis Scott. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I know they going crazy in Houston. <laughs> I mean, they. I I haven't tried one because yeah, uh, I know, haven't either, man. I just, six six dollars. Six dollars for a meal at McDonald's is still expensive. They still got that dollar menu, so. Gotcha, gotcha. I feel yeah. you. I feel you. <laughs> so, um, so what's up, man? Uh, I, hey. I, I want to just start off and be and say, man, you you have really good energy, like through oh, your photos. I appreciate and, it. Like through your, your social media. I and, like, when I hit you in the DM, I was like, he goes to promos. You was like, all right, bet. I'm gonna get these. Yeah. Circles. Let's go. I'm like, oh, <laughs> listen. Go. I gave them to everybody, even people I didn't know. Yeah, I was like, "Hey, listen, <laughs> you but you buy a computer." Just I like listen. that energy, I man. You, it's about to be a dope hour. Yeah, yeah. So, um, hey, Mimi, she right here. She know you. She, know, you know, we, you we know you right there. A, we always got to give a shout go. out to wifey. You know, <laughs> got to, got to show that. Heck yeah, she the reason why we all here, man. Facts. If you want to be honest, <laughs> facts. Um, facts. so so man, I, I want to start off. Um, not song related. Uh, mm -hmm. just give me, give us a little. 
a bit about your background. I mean, you sure. your, your discretion, how much you want to give, but like, of course, you know, of course, like what what you do for a living and all that good stuff, man. I mean, it's it's a very diverse <laughs> background, man. I'm a uh, bi coastal, Brooklyn, Austin, um, growing up. Okay, it's kind of crazy. Um, I uh, what I do right now is I'm a manager at one of the bigger sports bars here in Houston, Texas, Prospect Park. So shout out to them. Okay. Um, you got some cool. You you got some of them on here. Oh well, I I hope so. They oh okay. Be. If not, you know, somebody getting fired. <laughs> 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 nah. Um, but yeah, that's what I do currently. Uh, by trade, though, like I said, my my history is kind of, you know, I went to Ohio State, the Ohio State University, to play football. Okay. That didn't work out. Okay. Um, went and got my MBA, Davenport University. Uh, at some point, I was like, what am I supposed to do with this piece of paper? No offense to those with the MBAs in the world. Yeah. Then I went to med school. Yeah. Uh, I saw yeah. That. Yeah. And, uh, you know, everything was great. And then just one day I was like, this ain't this ain't what I want to do. Like, yeah. I was just depressed as hell. And How, how deep yeah, were you so, in? You know, med school is a... It's a oh, we gra it's a I, I graduated. We were, we oh, were past wow. that. Yeah. So I got officially, I got the MD at the end of my name. We done Got that. you. Yeah, got yeah, you. yeah. So if you want to call me Dr. Scorp or Dr. Sinzamini, I mean, we good with that. But um, yeah, yeah, man, we went through the whole process. It just wasn't, it was not what, uh, what I tell people, it just wasn't what God planned for me to do. Like I was miserable. I was depressed. I gained weight. It just wasn't, it wasn't for yeah. me. It wasn't okay. for me. So uh, when, once that happened, I had to, I had to flip the script on my life and what I wanted to do. And that led me to sewing. Oh, wow. So, so how, how long ago was that? Was that, um, I guess, thought or when you, when you decided? It was, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was March 19th of 2019. I'm pretty sure. If not, it was that week. Oh, but, so this is just last year. Oh yeah. Uh, this sewing journey has been, yeah, last year. Oh, wow. Like, I say like last year, last year. Yeah, man. So, yeah, it was, um, I, it, it was kind of funny how it all happened. Before that, I was in a dark place. Like, I still didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Yeah. But I'm one of those people who I feel like everything I've gone through in life has kind of, like, prepared me for that, like, that next step. Yeah. So, like, growing up, I never really had my own niche. I was playing football because my brother, I'm, I was, like, his number one fan. Like, yeah. I played football because of my brother. He was a beast. Gotcha. Um, I ran track because of my older sister. Uh, I luckily I breezed through class, school. My parents, they're entrepreneurs themselves. Okay. But still, I never really found anything that like was for me. So when football and medicine and all that didn't work out, I wasn't really like tripping about it. I was like, I mean, yeah, whatever. You figure it out. So I don't I don't know what it was that led me to Instagram that one day, but you know I've always been like a creative drawing. Like I used to sit outside my house and draw houses. Okay. Like, I have those on my wall. Wow. Really, just one day, I just went on Instagram and I was looking for, I think it was like black designers. And I swear, even though I looked for black male designers, Mimi popped up. Like, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how she popped up. But she popped up. And so I was clicking on her stuff. I was like, yo, like all this stuff was mad dope. I was like scrolling through. I was like, but where is the men's? And then saw you. Got you. Clicked on you. And like, you know, this is on some no stalker shit. I went through your whole profile. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. back even when you had like the braids, right? yeah. <laughs> like, oh no, that, that was dreads. That was mad at those oh, dreads. Dang, yeah, yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. I was like, but like instantly, I was like, here's a guy who was not afraid of both patterns, both colors, and this I didn't even know you you sewed at the time. Yeah, so I was just like, oh, like, cause that's me. I like to do the bold prints, the patterns, have fun with it, and then I found out you put all that together. I was like, stop. Yeah, so I had to I had to Google it to make sure it was real, and then yeah. I saw it was wrong. And then I was like, that that night, I signed up for Sewed Academy. Wow! And then by that weekend, yeah, I had my sewing machine, and it was a, it's what? been a wrap. Yeah. Dang. So like, yeah, I, that I saw that man because once I I don't know how I got to your page or or, or what I don't know how we crossed paths, but yeah. You just started throwing content out there, like, yeah. like the shirt. You had the different looks, like, yeah. you, was, like you, it, you, you was like one of the few 
that was actually making it, making something, and actually photographing it and posting yeah, yeah, yeah. it. And like, hey, and this it, is a full on look. For sure. And it's crazy because like, I don't know, like, I, I think for me, like, once I learned how to sew, like, I thought, like, oh, man, I'm New York Fashion Week next year. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm, like, a perfectionist. Like, yeah. I got, like, so many projects and stuff that I didn't want to put out because I'm, like, man, this shoulder seam is terrible. Or, like, the cap was, like, done. Yeah. Or, you know, like, I just, if it wasn't perfect in my eyes, I couldn't do it. But if there's anything COVID taught me, you know, there are some people putting stuff out there that just, you know... <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yeah, I was okay. like, listen, the world going bananas for them. So I might as well just start pumping you out my content. Start. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, even this morning, I just came from a photo shoot where I'm finally, like, I got like four finished looks that I'm like excited to. Yeah, man, the, the rest of 2020 about to be crazy for me. That's crazy. That's what's up, man. So yeah. let me ask you it. So you went kind of, you coming from like more or less the medical. Yeah. Field, yeah. If I, I mean, I could say, um, were you ever into fashion at all? Like, oh, yeah. And like I said, I'm, I was, it, it's not even that I was into fashion. It was, I like used to push the limits. Like, you know, we in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> I was wearing velvet blazers in the summer. Because, Got you. Listen, if I wanted to wear it, I'm going to wear it. If you didn't buy it, then you can't comment on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that was always me, man. I was doing... I was Bold doing colors. Oh French, yeah, mixing class patterns. Like I used to call it pattern play. Like yeah. I've redone my Instagram like twelve times. But <laughs> yeah. if I if I could go back and see all the pictures, man, it, it's like fashion has always been a part of me. It just I was never able to manifest it into like being like the thing that should be got like my, thing, my niche until got you, got last you. Year. So sometimes it takes you being in that dark place to see the light. Yeah. And that's what happened, man. That's that's what's up, man. Yeah. Um, so uh, you only been sewing for, I guess, what, a little over a year? A year and a half? A year and a half, man. Something like half. that? Yeah. And you've been making some really good stuff, man. I'm, I'm telling you, it's it, and that's the thing is, like, honestly, it, it, it's not me. Like, I, I promise you it's not. Because I'm not good at drawing. Well, let me, let me take that back. I'm good at drawing, but, like, yeah. I haven't even tried to, like, draw like you know on the mannequin to like you know draw your inspiration yeah it just comes you know sometimes as creatives like you see the end product yeah and already. then i'm telling you if you go to my youtube library you mimi g you mimi g i'm looking <laughs> yeah, at videos dude. like that's it so when i think of something i'm like how can i connect it boom uh simplicity 8613 a boom combine that with this boom we mixing this and it goes yeah, yeah. like it just that's what's up man yeah man um, before, like, did you have um, any issues, like, shopping? Like, the red oh my stuff? Gosh. Like, not so, the right colors, not the right prints, not the right It's fit. funny, you talking about during sewing or before? Just before, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Like, you know, for me, I was, I, I was always looking for, like, that next thing. But I was always, like, a, not frugal, but I was, like, an affordable Yeah, shopper. affordable. Like, I yeah. even had, like, a, an Instagram page called The Affordable Gym, right? Okay. So, like, I used to go and find pieces that were affordable that people could be like, yo, that's, like, probably $800. I was like, no, it's mm. a $50 blazer. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, um, like, one of my biggest stores was Zara when they first came to America way back. That was when, you know, they first made a splash. They used to do, like, American sizes. So, like, bigger armholes. Yeah. You know, just bigger sizes. Mm -hmm. Now they done got bougie on people. They went back to their European size and Super cut was, up. I got, yeah. I got an 18-inch neck. I got... I got ham hocks and thighs, bro. Like I don't fit that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So I mean, it was it was always an issue as far as like, you know, finding stuff that fit. And then even now, I mean, I remember like you uh, with the other people that you have on your show, Joanne's. As much as I love Joanne's, yeah. You know, somehow they always find a way to make a print girly, and it's like, gotcha. You know, so like I, yeah. I shop at it's basically online places, Mood, Minerva, yeah. Um, places that I know, you know, we have like a high fashion fabrics here in Houston that's like really, really good. Um, so I What's go there. A lot. High fashion fabrics. High fashion it. fabric. You heard of that yeah. in Houston? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next yeah, time right you right 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 oh, I know she has. She probably got a big photo poster in the back or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, she <laughs> said she ain't been in this one. Oh, she, she ain't. She ain't oh, been in this one. Yeah. Well, you go ahead and come on down. We got uh, high fashion fabrics. That's. I mean, it's, it's dope. I ain't gonna lie. You you probably okay. find some good stuff there. That's what's up, man. I like that. Yeah, um, man. 
um, yeah, I guess like while we, since we in Atlanta now, we have to you know what I'm saying find some some places. Um, Wait, y'all relocated? Yeah, we 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 in Atlanta now, man. Yeah, what? we be we be here since what the March right before the pandemic really went bad, bad. You uh -oh. know, yeah. We gonna, to, we gonna have to pull up. Yeah, for we sure, for sure. Up. So, did you have anybody else in your family? So, like, how did you? Like you just saw you saw you saw wiping and was like oh this is a bro thing. I'm, I'm I'm telling you like it's just it's just something that like if 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 you ask like a lot of people like I've had the same circle of friends for like ten fifteen years like those are like my brothers so like shout out Joseph Chuck Ray D Bell all y'all all, all um, of them <laughs> if um if you ask them like they've been asking me for styling advice fashion advice like I designed my boy Chuck's suit for the wedding. I got so okay. in New York to make it. Like, this is something, like, I should have, like, I'm probably sure. Should have been doing. Been like, people say that all the time, but it's like, I, I should have just took myself to somebody's fashion school for a couple of years. Right. And been doing this, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's 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 funny, because, like, all my, all the people that I'm kind of, like, inspired by kind of have, like, that same, like, route, I guess you could yeah, say. Yeah, I mean, same thing. Yeah. yeah. Same thing here. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's, so that, that kind of made sense why, since you kind of already was, like, drawn to fashion so strongly, like, the process of making it, you was really tuned in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I was, you're trying to learn everything. Like, you, I'm telling you, <laughs> books, reading, every fashion show that comes on TV. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, like, it's, it's fire. Yeah, like, so, so have you been able to make women's wear and, and men's wear? Funny you say that. So I'm in the process of getting into it now. I've always been, like, there There have been, like, a lot of hurdles. When I first got started, I was scared to death to do buttons. I don't know. It's just I couldn't do buttons. Like, but for some reason, I thought it was, like, the scariest thing in the world. Like buttonholes? Yeah. And then, oh, okay. like, the very first time I did it, I messed it up completely. I was like, nah. So I used to do all my beginning projects was like snap buttons. I was like, gotcha. everything I do is going to be snap buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I eventually conquered it. Then it was like zippers. Mm. <laughs> so then I used to, so it's, everything's been stepwise. So now I feel comfortable. Like I literally, for the first time, like I have a couple suits here. I did my first couple suits without watching any of your videos. Nice. Just, yeah, for like the past two weeks. So nice. now I'm on the process of, you know, I'm getting a little, getting making a little noise here in Houston. Okay, people have contacted me, so a lot of the projects that I have coming up uh, are going to be like women's business suits. They want pants suits. They want like a okay. dress or something. And I'm trying to tell them, I was like, I'm not going to do this couture stuff. You want the drapes and the puffy shoulders? Got it. Got we you. don't have to <laughs> bring a unisex <laughs> element to it. But <laughs> yeah, you know, I've never made excuses. I've never ran from a challenge. So we're gonna make it happen. That's what's up, man. That's, yeah, that's man. the type of energy I like, man, because oh, it, yeah. kind of remind, it reminds me of when I first started. Like, after I made my first couple of t-shirts, I was like, babe, I want to make a suit now. And she yeah. was like, hey, slow down. <laughs> you got a lot to learn. And I'm glad she did that. But I also, every time I sold, I wanted to do something new. I didn't want to do the same. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I want to learn something new. want to learn a new technique. How do I do this? How do I do that? I'm asking her, like, a million questions a day. You and, know, and it's, so. It's funny because, like, <laughs> it's, it's so funny because I'm always told like I, I always want to do something different yeah but then I'm always it's, they're like you got to get the basics you know what I'm saying like yeah, I had yeah. an unfortunate situation last year where you know I moved out of my old roommate's apartment and basically I had no clothes like gotcha. no clothes situation happened long story short I walked away <laughs> with just a suitcase full of clothes so yeah. like literally when I say 90% of my closet is is handmade Oh, wow. my closet. Like when I tell people like I wear my own clothes, like I literally wow. there's a very few things that you will see that I don't that I did not make. Like, so man, so so how how much time do you dedicate? You know, like to, to like making and, garments just for yourself, just by enjoying it, not like working like trying to make a piece a custom piece for a customer or something. You know, straight uh, straight up, man. Uh, med school. So I've always been a night owl. Med uh -huh. school kind of like amplified that to the tenth degree. So yeah. working at a sports bar, I go in at the afternoon, like 4 p.m. I don't get back on the weekends till about 3 or 4 p.m. But like, gotcha. I'll stay up till 7, 8. Oh, okay. So, you just get like, it any, in. Any, yeah, any downtime I have, if I'm not working out, I'm sewing. Yeah, but I mean, once you start and you get into the groove, I mm, mean. 
Oh yeah, and and that's your autopilot comes on. <laughs> listen, unfortunately, we have two dogs that you know. I'm sorry, Chloe and Bo, but sometimes I forget to walk them. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> I'll be jamming all of a sudden. Yeah. Like you know, you you try you try and set like yeah. Like, okay, I'm gonna finish this sleeve. But then you finish that sleeve, you're like, bro, that's a dope ass sleeve. I, I gotta, gotta finish the next one. <laughs> I'm telling you. Or Yo. I'll be watching a show. I'll watch. A, I'll stream a whole show. Like. I just got into American Gods. I'm already in the second season in like oh, a day. Dang. In a so you day be watching at the same time. I'll be watching it. Just have something in my ear. Like I have yeah. something. I have, it's the same thing when I was in med school. Like it'll be either this or I'm, it's hip hop. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's got to be hip hop. Okay. I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you later, like, what was your soul sound? So you like, oh, yeah. Hip-hop. Oh, it's, it's, listen. The few people, TV. Listen, people can say whatever they want to say about future, but future gets me hype. Oh, yeah. Gets, I will oh, yeah. I, I, I feel you, bro. Listen, yeah, I feel you. I don't care about his personal business. What he do <laughs> in, the, in the booth? I just need to get through this project right here. I'm That's telling it. you. So right now I have, you know, it's like almost every week I like update my my uh, my uh, Apple playlist. So I'll have like the same ten songs, and it has to be the same ten songs. Like it'll be on repeat. Okay. So like that's oh, like so what really I really be you really yeah yeah, yeah. Be so it's like in. I'm listening to those songs that's dedicated to this outfit and then the next outfit oh, is a whole new set of songs okay. and it's like that's the, that's like my groove so like okay if it takes me a whole week to finish it I'll be listening to the same ten songs sorry Julie that's what's up she uh she says I need to update my music too often <laughs> <laughs> man um so like like, like what what show show me your machine man like what what kind of oh machine yeah yeah I know you yeah, say yeah. you want Take a little tour. I don't want to. Oh, no, no, no. So, want you know, to, you know? First, I want to give a disclaimer to everybody because, you know, <laughs> unlike unlike everyone else before, not not everyone, but, you know, I'm I'm literally working out of our apartment. Like, when I tell you. you a small apartment, I'm working off of my uh, – how do I flip this thing? Oh, okay. So this is the Brother Sewing Machine that I use. This is the very first one I got. Okay. okay. Now, of course, I have plans to make others, but, you know, I mean, take yeah. I want to get the – what's that? The Juki? Oh, the the, you want to get an industrial, yeah, industrial man. joint. But, you yeah, know, okay. Me I need to, but you know, this this is my baby. It's getting me through. Then I have the surger right here. The nice, surger. like those two together. That's 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 it. Yeah, and, like that's literally that's magic. You could do anything with that. Oh yeah, it, I have like a little. I have a little back uh, desk. That's what I use to sew, and that's that's pretty much it, man. Like it's it's. It's anytime I find time, I'll be sewing on the kitchen counter. I'll be in the room. That's it. Oh, so, so t- tell me your first experience. So you just started like a little over a year and a half ago. So yeah, tell me your first experience when you was like, oh, okay, okay, I learn. I, I'm, I'm excited about this. All right, let me now let me go pick up some patterns. <laughs> yeah. So like so, go, going to the the like Joanne's or wherever you go to the or fabric store to get some patterns. Tell me how that experience was, bro. Ooh, it was a <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> like I had no idea what I was, cause like you know the first couple first couple things on Sewing Academy, you know it's Mimi, and so I thought first of all I thought I was a beast after you know little the paper sewing in a straight line, yeah, and doing the circles. I'm over here thinking, oh I got it done, got you. <laughs> I'm in there, <laughs> in there. I can sew a straight line and a yeah, circle. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so then I go to Joanne's and I'm trying to pick out fabric. She's like, well, what are you looking for? I was like, I'm just trying to make a shirt. Well, do you want <laughs> cotton? Do you want this? I was like, uh. So I'm over here trying to pull up the Sewing Academy, like, notes and stuff. But Joanne's has no connection. So I'm looking like an oh, idiot over here. Yeah. I'm trying to find. So luckily, I've now befriended those uh, those ladies. To, so, um, But, yeah, like, they helped me. It was, like, my first cotton shirt um i actually do i have the shirt no i don't have the original shirt it was actually a mess gotcha. Lord Jesus, it, was, it was a mess but then when i finally did copy my first shirt that's all i needed i was like dang once i made my first shirt i was like ooh. so then i wanted to skip to like the next less or well, lessons ahead because you know yeah. once you make your first thing you think you <laughs> yeah oh, man, i got it i'm good yeah but that wasn't <laughs> clearly that was not the case um so uh after that then i just kind of went through it and every step, you know, after every course, I got a little more confident, got a little more confident. Once yeah. I made my first button up, you couldn't tell me nothing. I wore that thing like three Ooh. days straight. It was a perfect fit. I'm telling you. Best shirt you, ever, best shirt you ever had, huh? The they, neck, they, or everything was good. They could, and it was, it was like a light, it was like a light denim too. It was like a light coral denim. It wasn't, of course, I had to be different. <sighs> I thought that was the beginning. And then, <laughs> and then 
I forgot what the oh, it was the pants. Ooh, the pants. Norris. Yeah, okay. pants are a beast, man. Like, and that, that's why I, I was looking at your stuff because a lot of guys really don't tap into pants that much. I be seeing a lot of guys oh, I had to. making shirts like, and jackets. The first pants were terrible. That's the first pants made me shut down for like a month. That brought me back down. That, that, like, that humbled like, you a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah. And then you were trying to do zippers. So I was like, nah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Buttons, nah, not today. So what was the challenging thing about 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 um creating pants? You know, honestly, it's it, it's kind of the same thing that got me into it. Is like fashion is so different, individualized. You know what I'm saying? So many yeah. people, like when you think about it, especially like with the younger generation, unfortunately, they think about fashion. They're gonna think of, oh, you got to be six three, one sixty five. Like, yeah, I'm five nine, two thirty plus. You know what I'm saying? Like, we play, yeah, yeah. we big boy weight. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So it's like the measurements that we have aren't gonna come from a regular pattern. So it wasn't, again, shout out to Mimi, when that yep. video where you broke down how to read the, the back of the, listen, uh -huh. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, I'm over here combining, well, listen, I'm not no 30 inch waist, I'm a 36, but I got this in my hips, I got this in my knees, like, listen, and it, my very first one, I just didn't understand how to correlate it. But then it was like, once you see your mistake, then you kind of build on it, you kind of go, go and go. That's what's up, man. That's, that's, that's dope. So, um... So, um, so, have have you been able to see any patterns that 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 you that you've come across that you actually love? I mean, outside of yours, like I can tell you right now, the one with the Henley, the one with the the blazer that you have, the button up one that you have, the one with the pants that you have. Like I have yeah. all of those. Those are like staples. Like literally, oh, okay. I took a drafting, um, I took a drafting course. By one of my homegirls, Mac the Taylor. She's in Baltimore. Never met her, but you know, IG sewing community. Oh, right? Mac the Taylor? Yeah. Oh, you know her. Yeah. She, she's the one that put she me, she's the one that hey, man, put shout me out. on. Yeah. yeah. Shout so, out to the Mac, homie. Yeah. That's she's what I'm good. saying. Shout out to the homie. I know she's going through her surgeries and everything right now. So shout out to you. Hope you get well. But she kind of put me on to University of Fashion. I took one of their drafting courses. So I was actually able to hold on. Let me show you. I was actually able to do self draft patterns. Oh, nice. Let me see. And so, like, when I tell you, oh, we got to go into the room. <sighs> oh, gosh, dog. It. That's a mistake. All right. Yeah, let me see what you got. All right. So, this is just, so, like, literally, it got to the point where we were, like, ooh, Okay. So I have the drafts for every single thing that I do, like sleeves, I have pants, I have shirts, all the blocks, like literally. So now that's why when I do so, when I tell you I sew fast, like I can make a shirt. And, like I was actually on a on a on a radio show that I made. Oh, a I was gonna ask you about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My yeah. Girl, DJ Omo was here in Houston. I mean, it was cool because you know she's trying to build her presence too. Um, female DJ killing it, like killing it yeah, so it's like hey i'm looking for different ways to expand my show on youtube i was like hey man, man i can come so live she was like you think you do it in an hour i was like sure i mean i had never done a shirt in an hour right. <laughs> i was like sure and so like i went there um you know i, I like to drink when i when i sew so i yeah, had my little soda. drink that's exactly what the, that's what the community and, call it hey listen in one hour i did my whole little button up and i killed it i was like yo that was that was dope. And I used this pattern, you know what I'm saying? That was like the first yeah, time yeah. I've actually done it. And it was good. I mean, it was, I mean, there were some tweaks I had to do later on, but she didn't know that, you know? Right, 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 right. But yeah, That's dope, cool. man. So, so you, you've been able to like, like do other things with this, with, with the way, with this skill, you know, like, oh yeah. The radio show, you oh, know, yeah. so like, it's a part of your brand now. Oh yeah. This is, this is, this is it. Like when I tell you, I know like with, with, with Mike Taylor last week when he was like, hey, this is my escape. Like, this is what I do to calm down. Like, this is like it for me. There's nothing I'm more passionate about than like this. Like, this is it. Right. So I'm going to build this up to, I mean, y'all are a brand, you know, like right. people say Mimi G in the community. You're like, yeah, yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And the same thing with you too, Norris. And you got like 12 different things going on with, you know, I can't even name the number of shows you got, but it's like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you build in a brand and it's like, you know, people before they would be like Scorpio. Oh, didn't you go to med school? Weren't you in med school? Weren't you a doctor? You know, yada, yada, yada. But now it's like 
Scorpio, oh, you sew, you make your own clothes. Hey, what about this? What about that? And like the community, because you know, sewing community is, it's not small. But as far as like being out there, yeah, it's it's niche. Exactly, it's niche exactly, community. it's a niche. And then especially the men's community. Oh my goodness, even it, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. telling you. So like once you and there's there's two. I'm, I'm actually gonna after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in touch with these other two designers here in Houston that are like killing it. Like okay, they've been they've been doing it for one lower gold. Shout out to my boy. He's been doing it for a decade plus. He came from Boston, moved to Houston, and then another dude, Manfred the Taylor killing it with the suits the nice yeah bro so these are definitely two people you know we trying to make magic happen here and it's it, you know like the thing is sewing community it's, it's competition but it's cohesiveness at the same time like yeah i've hit them up when, we, when covid hit we were doing all these masks for everybody we were hitting them up for ideas um elastic fabric like, oh wow it's, it's it's crazy man it's it's definitely definitely a, vo a mood yeah, so so did so did you get involved with with the with the mass situation? Oh, or? I mean, I I did my thing. I'm not gonna lie. I I probably did around a around a hundred or so. Okay, I probably did about a hundred or so. Um, honestly, I just didn't have the time to. You know, some people were getting contracted out to do like thousands, and I'm like, bro, I'm not. Oh gonna my lie to you. Like, I mean, that's that's amazing. I mean, I mean, that's that, what I'm saying. I said big ups. Big yeah, ups, you know, uh, but um. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I did the thing with the masks. And then it got to the point where people were trying to, you know, I'm not gonna say take advantage of it, but you know, they wanted these like custom masks. And I'm like, so these were supposed to be for like- You knew that was people. coming. You know what I'm saying? You knew like, that was like, coming now. I was like, I mean, them, they, like, hey, can, can they I want a custom you mask, you gonna pay this custom price? <laughs> like, gotcha. you know, <laughs> I want a denim mask that says my name and it says this and that. I'm like, listen. <laughs> listen. Just stay safe for right now. You know what I'm saying, we, right? We, we can talk about upgrade a little bit later. <laughs> if you're showing symptoms, stay home. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but That's yeah, what's I'm, up, man. Yeah, um, man. So, so you've been able to find a, a quite a few different resources, you know what I'm saying, mm. in your area, just reaching out, social media. and yeah. um even, even to this day, like, I mean, luckily, I'm the type of person I am is – I always want to, because I've never, especially with sewing, like I've never had anyone like teach me this thing. Like I'm watching it through the videos, but like at the end of the day, it's, you still got to complete the goal yourself. Yeah. So yeah. like people hit me up in the DMs and everything, and you're just like, I'm more than willing to send them your way. Like I'm one of Sewing Academy's biggest advocates. Y'all need to go ahead and send me a shirt. <laughs> you need a brand ambassador or something. Got you, bro. Listen, it's on his way, bro. We gonna listen get it. because uh, <laughs> like anyone telling like my cousin was literally just here. Like I'm. I'm tailoring some pants for my cousin right now. Tailoring some pants for him. He's in Jersey. And he was like, hey, what's the name of, you know, the the place where you go? Because he's also a design. Well, he's into fashion. Like, he does a lot of Ankara de prints. Uh -huh. um, so he he's like, hey, I told him, like, at the minimum, you need to know how to taper, how to hem your, you know, because you don't want to have to take it to a tailor and yada, right. yada, yada. You can do this yourself. So I put him on to you guys as well. And anybody who's willing to listen. So what's up, man? Soda so so is, is your boy? Um, is he learning how to like do his own? He's he, he he's going to he he's he's involved in a lot of things too. Like gotcha. you know, we you know Nigerians we hustlers. <laughs> we <laughs> so a he's, bunch a bunch of jobs. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm get telling it done, you. and if you look, and, it, and it done right too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's he's gonna get on it. I'm gonna make him. He's gonna get on it. He ain't got no okay. choice. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's that's um, I mean that's that's an interesting story, man, because um. Um, I was, did you see the episode where I had Stephen Miller on? He he was an he's an attorney. That's, was that the very first one? No, I think it might have been the, the third one. I I think, but but anyway, he um, it, it's just interesting to see like different, you know, what I'm saying people using sewing in different ways. Oh yeah. Um, some people using it for for outlets. Some people using them because hey, I just might want to alter some of this. Already stuff I got in my closet. Don't have to re rebuy if I can just. For sure. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Dice it up a little bit. I'm telling and, you. And, it's, and you, it's, you doing a complete, a complete <laughs> career like medical field, and then come all the way to to fashion, and then yeah. not only fashion, you you went to like men's DIY fashion. You know. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's definitely good that you was able to tap into it, man, because uh, my wife and I, as as we. You know what I'm saying? Keep, you know what I'm saying? Growing this and growing that. Uh, we, we look for this to be, you know what I'm saying? A, a decent size um, industry for, you know what I'm saying? For oh, a lot more fellas to, 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 to do their thing, you know? Yeah, man. 
and it's good like you have the inspiration because like for me if you if you ask when people ask me who i'm inspired by it's very simple like i know the ver the common you know answer that people want to give but like but for me I'm only inspired by people that I can touch. You know what I'm saying? Like I yeah. can sit down and have a conversation with you. I feel like I can pull up on you. We can go through a whole sewing session. And stuff yeah, 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 for sure. So like real talk, like you're an inspiration for me just cause like it takes a lot to be able to do what you do and make the videos and do this. And so like y'all, y'all, y'all a whole mood, you know what I'm saying? You and Mimi. And then <laughs> my guy, Rich Fresh, you know Rich Fresh, right? Yeah, I know Rich Fresh, yeah, yeah back in LA. Like, when I tell you that dude is- He's a, he's a beast. He's a beast. He was a, he, actually he was like the first guy that looked like you and I. Yeah. Talked like you and I. Yeah. Yeah. Busy like, was fire. I tell with. you, it makes no sense what this yeah. guy's doing. Back, like, like back 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 when um like me and Thrash was styling, uh, we we hired him to like do some custom pieces for some yeah. artists that we had that was touring and stuff. So um yeah, we seen his work up close and and, and up front. Thrash too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. When I, I remember when I went to his page outlandish style like yeah but it was but you know for me it makes sense you know what what i want to do it's funny because i actually shouted him because i used to do youtube when i used to, i used to do like little youtube videos where i was doing like sports and fashion i remember i shouted him out because he had like this one photo where he is well y'all both do it y'all in the rings yeah Boy, accessories, man. Like, you gotta accessorize a little bit i was like fire i gave him a <laughs> shout out he ain't hit me back but it's all good <laughs> it's all good i ain't gonna hold oh. my gift Hey, so so now uh, I want to switch gears for a second. I want to open mm -hmm. it up to to some of the questions that we have. Yeah, anybody uh, has questions, baby? Did did you see the you see any of the questions that, that might have came through that I might have been overlooked? Um, I think it's just a lot of commentary. Okay, let me see. <laughs> well, we don't have any questions. I can um, let me see. Let me see. I just want to fly <laughs> Somebody through. Asked what about making a tweed romper? A tweet romper. <laughs> hit, hit, hey, hit me in the DM. Hit in the DM. <laughs> Boom. There it is. That quick. Hit me in the DM. I, I did see that earlier. <laughs> Whatever they need, I got you. Well, so, uh, so let, let me ask you. Um, um, w w what did you get the name from? Sins of many. Man, so it's it's funny because, <laughs> so it used to be it used to be sins of many, sins of me. Okay. And then one of my good friends, Josh, he broke it down. He's like, okay, that's too long. You need to keep it simple. But in, in a funny way, it's kind of like me apologizing to myself. It's not like I committed sin, but it's like, this is something I should have been doing a long time ago. So I'm like apologizing to my younger self. Like, Got bro. you. Okay. So like, that's why I'm like so focused on doing it. Cause it's like in my head, I feel like I have a clock of like 10 years worth that I should, I have to catch up on. So it's like yeah. every piece that I do, it's like, I got to combine this thing that I would have done five years ago into this thing that hasn't been done. You put Got it together you. and it's, and that's why like, when you see a lot of my pieces, like yeah. you see a lot of my pieces here, like Ooh. It, it's, it's just a lot of stuff that I do that I, I have to, that I have to put a lot of different stuff into the, to make it, to make it unique and make it real. Yeah. yeah. So what do you get a lot of your, like a lot of your, like, piece like inspiration from like i know you said your overall inspiration but will you like cue in on like a certain piece or what what did that idea come from man honestly it's and it's gonna sound crazy but like it's always been like this women's fashion and like yeah. no the lgbqt community because like yeah. that community is fearless like yeah. they will put together things like <laughs> like pose the show yeah, <laughs> I tell you, like I, if I go through my phone, I can tell you so many screenshots I've taken from both that show, um, women's fashion, like I'm, <laughs> like getting started trying to read Mimi's patterns and adjust it to a dude. <laughs> like, yeah, I had to do a lot of that when I first started too. Yeah, I, like, I was, man, I'm like, well, their bust is 48. My chest ain't that big, but like, <laughs> I got, <laughs> I got to adjust for it. But like, honestly, a lot of it is. So I'm a huge. Jean-Claude Van Damme, Steven Seagal, Wesley Snipes back in the 90s. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. So I watch a lot of their old movies a lot when I sew. But, yeah. I mean, it's that vintage fashion. Yeah. A lot of inspiration, trying to combine it with modern stuff. Like, ooh, that's hot. Let me come at it with this color. Pop. Boom. Yeah. You know? Have you tried any um, all vintage patterns? I, now, vintage patterns, I haven't. I just bought my very first one. It was, it was off of Etsy. It's something I had for a long time. It was like a full-length coat. But it had like it. I can't. I can't remember it. It was did a. Did you make something yet? Did you? Did no, you? Oh uh, well, I'm in the. Pr 
Hold on. Let me let me go ahead and grab that for you. Give me one second. Gotcha. Yo, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry for the scenery. No, no, you good, man. <laughs> so so um for those that's on right now, if you have any questions, go ahead and put it out there. Um you can also put the the question in the question box at the bottom when you see that question mark on top of the squares. So um Somebody asked about finding patterns for really tall guys. Finding patterns for really tall guys. Um, so, um, yeah, so, so with most patterns, if, if, if your height is under, I guess the, the standard or, 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 or longer than the standard, there are, are lengthening and shortening lines that's on all the patterns. So it's, it's a place of, of, it's a particular place on the pattern piece that it tell you where to cut and adjust. So you just put paper behind it and then place however many inches that you need, um, right. for it to do that. So. Yeah, what's up? It's kind of a play on a vintage pattern. So I'm not going to do a true vintage pattern, but so it's a trench coat, right? Okay. That I'm doing, but it's going to be wide, 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 wide lapels, right? So that's going to be there. But what I did was, you can't see it right now. I'm back up. I paneled it with the denim. So got you, got denim. you, got you. Yeah. So that's what I want to do. And then this collar, I'm going to line it with fur. Ooh. Kind of like like a dark fur, kind of like okay, they yeah, man. So okay, you might be having some orders. <laughs> hey man, listen, but, hey, I'm, I'm telling everybody, man, I'm open for business, man. Man, that's business. so so what so like I, I know I know um tapping into this tapping into the, the DIY fashion world mm -hmm. is one thing, and like like it's something that you you would just you you'll love and then as, after you get the love or, or of it you be like hold on and you get these compliments oh i could probably make some money like Listen. was it that way for you or was you just you know what this is it i'm gonna try to make money somehow i mean for for me honestly when i first started i just needed a wardrobe man like i i just i needed a wardrobe yeah then it wasn't until i did this jacket which is kind of like it's it's kind of like a, a three quarter joint, and that's fur on the inside right there. Oh, okay. Uh, I wore this to like one of my uh, my little brother's graduation. Yeah. In Missouri, and then from bro, there, that's nasty. I like bro, that. From there, people were like, "Bro, what are you doing?" And I was like, "What you mean?" Like it's just they're like, "How did you do that?" And I was like, "I mean, it was in Missouri. I didn't have a winter jacket, so I had to make something, and I wanted it to be fur." And then from that moment on, it's like everything has been like heat, fire. That's He's what's up, man. Fire. And it's like, boom. So so I have a we have a question. Um uh from who is that? It's oh what's up? Uh Karis Joy Creations. Okay. Um, um what's your what's your favorite fabric to work with? Favorite fabric to work with. If you would have asked me this three weeks ago, I would have been like just like a stretch jersey knit. You know, like something stretchy. Because you know, you big dudes, you don't want something too fitted. I need something I can move in, you know? So something stretchy. Like a jersey would have been good, but when I discovered the stretch scuba knit, knit thing that I made with this joint, what right you here, do, what you do, this thing right here, when I tell you this is the creme de la creme, <laughs> like this thing, oh, okay, yeah, bro, oh, nice, and it had the reverse side was the dark pink, so I didn't even have to like order more fabric, I put some snap buttons on it, made some pockets, yeah. Put a hoodie on it so they knew what's real. Oh wow! Yeah, man. Oh man, your construction is good, man. Those listen, some, some nice lines, man. I and I and listen. I give all the credit to what's that show on Netflix? What show he's talking about? The fashion show. Uh, what show? The one that they did it on. What'd you say, baby? Not fine, fine. Next in fashion. Next in fashion. Oh, you said next that? in fashion. Daniel from okay. the UK. The Amazon show. Oh, Amazon yeah. show. Oh yeah. Sorry, my bad. But um. I've just always been like, for me, number one, straight lines, like it has to be really, really tailored, like really, really tailored. Like yeah. I, I don't want it to look sloppy. So I, I will literally take my time on it. But now I've gotten to the point where it's like, you know, I can, I can go through it and feel confident, you know, going through at like the highest speed or whatever. But like, that's something that I, if it looks sloppy, I ain't gonna put it out. Gotcha. So, so our that's next question is, um, uh, how do you decide how much to charge people for your custom stuff? Ooh, uh, <laughs> Uh, you got You just gotta. 
I'm not gonna lie. I I looked at some things, but you can't look at like wholesale retail. You can't look at Zara. You can't look at Target. You can't look yeah. at you know like because they have whole manufacturers who do it. You know, absolutely. But I had a conversation with one of my good friends. And he was just like, "Hey, know your worth. You set a price, you stick to it. It's just that it is what it is." And then you try and go off of like, you know, what similar people are doing, but you can't ask a local designer like what you charge it for. I'm not about to go stalk their customers what they're paying for it. Right, right. I just kind of was just like, "Hey." Add add up your your, your, yeah. your materials exactly, and, and also wifey always preached this on her on her business shit podcast. Um, um, don't forget to pay. A lot of people forget to pay for their their time. Oh no! Oh, sorry, sorry for the time. You know what I'm saying? If it takes you Ooh. two or three hours of, to do something, know how what your hourly rate is and and put that into you know. And what I'm that's saying? that's when I got smart into the hourly rate thing. So like doing a denim jacket, that denim jacket that y'all got, yeah. Ooh. All them panels. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, all yours was fire though. You um, you did like a uh, a corduroy, a brown corduroy joint, man. Yeah. Corduroy joint. Yeah, that's a good pattern. That's a really good pattern. Listen, they, listen. When I when I made this, you could oh, tell nice. me nothing either. So I did that, and then I just finished. Where's this one at? So this is kind of like this is like a stretch cotton one. Okay. But then I put some side stripes on it. I see that. Yeah, man. But yeah. See, I put the buttons on it this time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah bro. But yeah, man, it's uh, it's uh, definitely that hourly rate is a huge thing because once they understand that hourly rate, I'm good. Yeah. Okay, that's a really good question. All right, Faith coming through. Uh, what are your hopes for the men's sewing industry in the future? Oh, we're going to take over the industry. Ooh, okay. We're going to take it over. You hear that, Faith? Like, he asked oh, it. Yeah. Clear. It crystal clear. I mean, everyone's kind of had their time to shine. It's like, it's just, you know. But there's a bunch of, so there's a lot of male designers. For me growing up, I didn't know, like, what the difference was between, like, fashion and fashion designers. I don't think I really still don't know. But, like, right. I just consider myself, like, honestly, a I, yeah, a creator. Like, yeah. I sew. Like, you know, does that make me a designer? Sure. Does that make me a fashion designer? whatever maybe but you know what i'm saying but like my boy uh pyre moss kirbito like what he says it doesn't matter you're creating something that's going to change the world like yeah that's it like for me if i can walk down the street see you making you wearing my stuff i'm gucci like yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah i knew good. i was gonna love your energy bro i knew it yeah <laughs> you can't you i was can't. like man there's somebody here photos man <laughs> like he, he, he's away, there man. with it he's there with it yeah, that's man. what's up, man. I'm, I'm, it's, it's dope to have somebody just as excited as I am because, um, I like, I, I like my, my wife and I always talk about this how, um, we've been able to, like, men have, especially, especially, um, like men of color, you know, yeah. been able to, you know, what I'm saying, um, uh, go into like the sports industry, go into the movie industry, go into the music industry, For sure. and, and also go into the fashion industry. But there's not too many of us that actually goes into. A even more niche DIY fashion exactly. you know, in the industry. And that's a huge, huge thing. Like DIY, yeah. when you say you're just the, when you say you're in fashion, that's one thing. When you say you're in like DIY fashion, slow fashion, like that's something completely different. That's like a whole level of respect that you can just be like, yeah, I mean, that's what I yeah. do. <laughs> and, and, and having that only helps you in, in all the rest of the fashion. Oh, yeah. You know Easy. what I'm saying? Easy. So like so once you like know it from like a con construction standpoint and you and you you're self teaching yourself all these different skills and techniques and then and aside from someone you like even you 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 like you're you you're being taught beyond sewing like you go yeah. into pattern making like that's a whole nother skill in its that's, own well, you know what I'm saying that's a whole nother niche that you can profit off greatly. Yeah, and then Ooh. alterations like you got something yeah. that you already bought and you want to trim it down or you want to let some out. Or you want to switch up a color on the inside of the lining. You know, having all those different skills, you know, only sets you up for the rest of the, the fashion industry too. Yeah, for you sure. know. So um, that's that's dope, man. It's it's, it's so good sharing. You know, what I'm saying the same type of, you know, what I'm saying passion with someone that have similar backgrounds because it makes a difference. I mean, sometimes you have to see somebody that looks like you to do something to to get as inspired by it. You know. Sure, for sure. Oh, I uh, just recently watched it live the other day. Okay, let me see if we cram a few more questions in. What sh let me see. It didn't pop up. There we go. What's your next sewing fear challenge uh, you want to tackle? Oh, that's a good one. Um, 
dang, that's a, that's that's a good one. Honestly, I'm I'm gonna say uh, women's fashion, not 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 like for not for like selfish reasons. Like I don't, it's not like I'm trying to like conquer the industry, but I just I just think as like a creator, you just want to be very, especially yeah, because perfect. I get a lot of inspiration from them. Yeah. I want to be able to like. Oh, you went off. Uh oh, was that me? Oh, go ahead. Go those, ahead. those, the pointed shoulders, the, the shoulder pads. You know, the yeah, pointed yeah, stuff that you wear in the eighties. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's fire. I mean, I got bulky shoulders. Like, I mean, I, yeah. I can never get away with. It. I barely have a neck, but, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think, I think it's fire. And so, yeah. like this, just women's fashion in general. Like this next project I'm about to do for this girl, with the suits and everything. Like, I'm really gonna put my time. I'm gonna do a Muslim mock for her to try on. Like, I'm gonna do All that. You know, she said money's not an issue. So uh, if you're watching, it. I'll put you out there now. You said money isn't an issue. So <laughs> let's go. We're going to see. <laughs> you're going to play this back. you like, huh? Well, let me play this. <laughs> so we're going to see. But yeah, I, I think that. And then on top of that, I'd probably say for, for myself, um, individually, I just want to get a lot cleaner with my suits. Like I do, I do a lot of unlined suits because, you know, it's Texas. It's hot. But I want to get to the point where I can do a full line suit, you know, like like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah um, man. Um, that was one of my biggest things, man. Um, I wanted to do a full on suit because yeah. I was known for it, actually for rocking all kind of crazy suits. Yeah. So um, when I first started sewing, man, like my ultimate goal was let me knock that suit out. And and my my wife at one point was like, you know what, you could probably do it now. And I'm like, yeah. man, can I? I would doubt myself, like, man, I don't know now. Tell That's you. a suit. Like, I can't mess this up. Like, I can Especially mess up when you took that pattern out that package, you're like, boy. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't mess up a suit, man. So I was putting it off, you know what I'm saying, for a few months before I actually did it. And then once I got that first one out of the way, man, I mean, I was excited. And yeah. and did the plow one and, you know what I'm saying, and just tell you, going. and, like, once once I did my plow one, I actually used, I think you commented when I, I bought the same kind of the, the fabric that you had used, I think, on the pants. The blue plaid that you did, I think you did it on Soul Academy. You okay. You did a YouTube video on it. I don't know. It was, was one it of those. The checkered? Was it a checkered yeah, plaid? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so yeah. I did that one, and I was like, once I did the plaid and it matched up perfectly, I was like, oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, sh- that was a game changer. I was like, so what's next? Like, what are we going to? So, I mean, it's, but there's there's so many there's so many things in my head. Like I'm want to put down on paper. I'm always buying fabric. That's like a that's that's a terrible terrible habit of mine. I have got piles of fabric. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> my wife said it comes with the territory. I mean, I'm telling you, it is. Like, <laughs> but listen, Mimi. First of all, when are y'all gonna make that pattern for this motorcycle jacket? I, oh, I know every every person. Oh, I know every I person who's came on this show has yes. asked. Yes. I just talked to no, bro, that's crazy. It feel like you it, like so we only just talking about today, bro. Literally. I have this I have this fabric. It's a yellow suede reflective from Minerva Save that it. I'm waiting. Save it. I'm oh, no, I'm Save going it. to. Save I'm, it. Trust me. You you got your I'm, zippers at? You got your zippers? No, but I but I recently just went to your blog that you said the the zipper store in LA that you got it through. I'm I'm getting it from them. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, zip ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah zip yeah. up so, is fire. Yeah, white, they got I'm gonna get everything. White zipper with the gold zip. I'm trying. Listen, I'm waiting for. As soon as you drop that, that. Oh yeah, that's gonna next, go crazy. Yeah, and then, and then my next project is gonna be the big jacket that y'all had that you did with the camo. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's all now. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, now. yeah. No, that I just got that. I one, love that so. jacket. I just wore it now. Like man, I need to make another one of these. Don't be mad if I use the same camo. Cause oh camo, man, do your thing, bro. Camo and denim are my favorite prints. So okay, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Um, before I let you go, man, I want to ask, um, uh, what what would you tell um, another guy that want to get into sewing that has no clue where to start, or if it's something that could be beneficial in any kind of way, you know? So like, and I mean, it, maybe they could be in fashion, maybe they just got good style, maybe they have no style, they just want to, yeah. you know, saying get a better style for themselves because they're body is dis- disproportionate to the to the average size they got out there like what would you tell that guy the first thing i would say is you got 1099 <laughs> listen on, honestly like if if someone if someone were to ever ask me for advice i'd be like life is too short 
I always tell Jaleesa every day, I was like, hey, we got 75,000 sunsets together. So oh. like, you only get so much time on this earth. Yeah. If you want to create something, create it. Because at the end of the day, is two people may not like it, but you're not making it for them, you're making it for yourself. And we got trillions of people in this world who may think it's the dopest thing ever. Yeah. So it's like, just go for it. If you yeah. suck at it, do it just like me. You, you go back, you go back in the lab, you perfect yourself, you come back out. Like I've literally, I'm not gonna say quit, but I've gone back twice, gone back in the lab, gone right back to course number one with Soda Academy twice now, just going to make back. sure like I'm good. So now it's like, I've done it two, two times over, waiting for those new videos, by the way. Um, got you, got you. And uh, <laughs> yeah, like it's, that, that's it. Like, cause at the end of the day, no one's gonna, you can only be you. You, can, you only worry about things you can control. You can control yes. what you wanna do in this life. And that's what you wanna, you go for it. That's what's up, man. I mean, you said it. You said it best. I mean, that's that's. I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't say it better than that either, man. Um, especially now because there are a few of the resources that we're actually working hard to provide and to keep up. And mm -hmm. then actually, people like you that are actually going out. You know, what I'm saying just supporting. Hey, I'm repping for the men's wear in this DIY world. Sure, bro. And because hey, if they see us, you know, they have no choice but to start making stuff. You know, what I'm saying for tell you, if you ever need a guest instructor, just let me know. Oh, for sure. Yo, Ooh. yo, baby. You know oh, yeah, I'm volunteering. Yo, I'm volunteering my yes, services. No. I'm volunteering my services. Bro, we going to talk. Bro, we going to talk. I'm always, I'm, I'm telling looking. You, oh, I'm listen. looking. Yeah. Before we go, listen, this, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm kind of like a serial entrepreneur. Look at, see, this is a beard oil, bro. Oh, you I gotta, need that. Listen, you got to send me the address so I can just send you. I'm going to send you got all you. three cents. I promise you. So, if, so if, how, if, how long have you had that brand? Oh, I just I just literally made the sense last week, bro. Okay. Like it's just again one of those things where I should have been doing it because you you're, you're fraternity, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. So I'm an iota. Columbus, okay. Columbus, Ohio. Got you. You know the day before you start pledging, they tell you, you can't shave no more, right? Uh -huh. So I shaved. <laughs> that was the first time I ever did in my life. I was fresh face after the pledging. <laughs> So it was, so since so then- So you've been rocking I, a beer for a minute. Oh yeah, I've, I've been rocking a beer for a minute, but now I'm doing this, next week I'm gonna have some beard bombs. You know, we're just trying things that, like I said, we only got so much time on this earth, man. We might as well go for okay, it. Okay, we're gonna rap. Hey, we're gonna oh, yeah, for real. Sure. We're gonna rap about a lot of stuff. For sure, bro, for sure. We That's got what's to. up, man. That's dope, that's dope, man. Um, so uh, I wanna appreciate everyone for, for watching. Um, before I let y'all go, I want y'all to know that we have the Dope Men Soul Facebook page. It's on Facebook. Before I forget, um, go there, um, especially if you're someone that need information, uh, want to share information, want to share resources, and also inspiration. It's a great place that um, it's not the only Men Soul group, but it's the it's one, not, you know what I'm saying? It's that, the that, dopest, that. though. Oh, all right, boom. <laughs> I, you said it best. So, um, so I'm, I'm going to help um, grow it. And people like um, Scorpio is, is helping growing it, man. Make sure, it look dope. Sure. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Um, appreciate everyone for watching Dope Men So Live. And we will see you um, next week. For sure, man. <laughs> everyone, y'all can hit me up. Sins of many. Let's make some magic. Go follow. Let's do it. Yeah, go follow. Yeah, um, see, it, I got oh, the endorsement. Go ahead. And Mimi and Norris are blue checked. So you know it's real. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you blue checked? I'm not blue checked quite yet. <laughs> Y'all are a unit. Yeah, we hey, are a unit. Yeah. So I got I got to check by default. You got the check. Yeah. You got the check. But in, anything sure. anything you got coming up that you want to share uh, outside listen, of um your socials? You know, I mean, not really, man. Like, if I'm not at work, I'm sewing, working on the other business with the grooming. Just hit me in the DMs. It's sins of many. <laughs> the other the other for the for the for the grooming line is so faded essentials. So faded essentials. Uh, so faded Ooh, essentials. Okay. So faded men's grooming essentials. But the but the Instagram is so faded essentials. Okay. But yeah, man, let's you know, that's it, man. We're just trying to I'm just trying to to live life to the fullest, man. Make some dope stuff, be a creative. I like it. If, if God happens to make me profitable in it, let's make it happen. I ain't Boom. Trying. That just <laughs> like that. Just like that. That's what's up, man. Uh appreciate you having me on, man. And we appreciate will wrap again, bro. For sure, man. Y'all be good. Bye, Bye me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, bro. Be easy. Yes, sir.